What is going on guys and girls? My name is James or thanks to you and welcome back to another episode of Pixelmon here on the fantastic Pixelcore server. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back to our world of lovely creatures mostly made of pixels. Uh, yes, it's really cool to be back here and making some more videos. Uh, I've been really really enjoying the Pixelmon of late as I'm sure you've noticed from the amount of videos that have been coming out on it. But yeah, really having a great time and uh, I'm sure you're aware that my last project was, uh, well the one that we're doing at the moment here is we're actually building the Team Block at 8. HQ, which is supposed to be a super secret base. It's not. I put neon signs on it. Ah, oh, foolish. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you that in a second. Actually, the first thing that I want to do is uh, I actually wanted to evolve this Spiro because I showed you this last episode, I think. But it was this random Spiro that I walked into uh, probably about three or four episodes worth of recording back. And... Uh, it's actually a shiny, so the textures are awesome on it, really really cool, the yellow and the gold, so I thought, well, why not to lose blah? Let's actually evolve this, so I've put my EXP share on it, and uh, we're just going to try and find a couple of high level Pokemon here, it shouldn't be too difficult to evolve this guy, uh, is it a guy or a girl? Uh, it's a guy, okay, cool, so... Let's see what we can do. But yeah, I've been kind of, uh, I've been spending quite a lot of time here on the server, uh, just doing some, just doing some basics like mining, basically. So we actually do need to do an enchant because oh, I'll show you for why in a second. Let's do this first. Let's let's fight this electrode. Actually, we don't even need to bring Spiro out first. What am I doing? Let's get Empoleon out. I feel that we've had a lack of Empoleon recently. Oh, for God's sake! Oh, you know what? I might as well, for the sake of it, we'll fight it. But that's Jeremy. Jeremy is a beast. All right, let's. <laughs> Ow! Pharaoh! You glitchy individual. Alright, so it's a flying type. Let's just brine it. Brine! Brine! Such a weird word. It's not an attractive word, is brine, is it? No, it's not the nicest word in the world. So 15, 16, oh, dude. Uh, oh, Aerial Ace, that's good. So let's get rid of Peck for Aerial Ace. Pretty sweet. Okay, let's get rid of those. So we just need a couple more levels here. Ooh, Rapidash, that's good. Oh, Sparrow! No. This is not about you. This is about my Spiro. Rapidash level 44. Perfect. Hit it with a brine. That should be a one hit. It's not. Oh, my penguin is weak. There we go, finally. So Spiro 19, Spiro 20. Yes, okay. So this is the moment I've been waiting for for quite a while, actually. Hopefully it should be a massive golden Spiro. And if it is, it might be worth evolving just so we can fly it around. Not evolving, leveling up a bit so we can fly it around. Oh, my God. <gasps> it's massive. No, it's not going to be that big, surely. It's absolutely huge. No, is that... Sh that surely can't be the real size of it, can it? Oh my god, that looks amazing! It's kind of like, looks like a... It's a poor man's Zapdos, isn't it, really? It looks amazing in the gold. Check that out. And we can ride it as well. They see me riding. They mine in. Oh my god. Yeah, I love this. This is cool as hell. Check that out. So we've got ourselves, randomly, a shiny Pharaoh. Actually, let's move away and check that out again. Ah, oh, it's, it's not the Pharaoh. That's the Pharaoh. Yeah, I actually really like that, to be honest with you. That looks awesome. Especially, it looks a bit like a chicken, I'm not going to lie. Hmm. It looks way cooler than that one at the back. Yeah, it's bigger as well, don't you think? Let's see the summary for it. Uh, flying a normal, of course. Uh, some random bits and pieces. Oh, it's got an enormous growth, and the nature is bashful. And it's not a very happy panda, so... Hmm. Okay, that's really cool. So we've got ourselves a Pharaoh there, which is very sweet. Um, now, secondly, we're moving on to the second topic, because this is going to be, for the next couple of episodes anyway, uh, I do want to do quite a bit of work on the Team Block at HQ. So I have been on the server for a little while, um, sort of yesterday and today and whatever, just doing some mining. Oh, we need to do an enchant. Wait a sec before I show you this. Actually, perfect, because it'll be night time and we can see all the nice illuminated signs. So I became perilously close to losing my... Well, not perilously close, but I came pretty close to losing my uh, efficiency... Not efficiency, my Fortune 3 pick, which is something I kind of want to keep. Because uh, very useful for getting uh, resources together, so uh, let me show you that. I've been using this to just do general mining, which does seem like a bit of a waste, but it is efficiency 4, so I kind of thought, eh, you know what, never mind. But we can't repair it, so that's the Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3, efficiency 4, which I think is a pretty decent pick all in all, to be honest. Uh, but it is very, very low, so I thought we try and get a, a new pick here. I've only used it like once, uh, but we'll get a new pick here. I managed to grind out 30 levels again, just got some more coal bits and pieces, really. And uh, so, yeah, let's head back into the old enchanting room. Let's see what we can get. I would quite like 
For once, there's no mobs down here. This is really weird. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I'd quite like... Hmm, what would I like? Uh, I don't trust the text. Oh, I like long text. Long text is good. Three, two, one. Oh, as if. That's terrible. Efficiency three. Oh, that's 30 levels I'm not going to get back. All right, that's just, I should have stuck with the first one, shouldn't I? Amateur hour. It is amateur hour on here. Oh, dear. So efficiency, at least it will help me with the cobblestone. It's not even efficiency four. Oh, come on, Mojang. First you give me that pick, and then you sell yourself to Microsoft. Ah, oh. <laughs> just to let you know, it hasn't, that hasn't been confirmed yet, by the way, but I've been reading about that today, and that, it could be interesting, actually. Like, people always say that PC gaming and, you know, that kind of thing is the way forward, and then Mojang sells to Microsoft, and everyone's like, oh my god, what the hell? Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't think it will change the game at all, to be honest. I'd be slightly worried about, I don't know. I really don't know, actually. Hmm, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, though, it won't happen, but I'm guessing it probably will. Um... But yeah, as you can see there, we've got one sign up there, which is on the back. So we've got the nice Team Blocket logo. Well, not logo, but the Team Blocket lettering on that side of the mountain. And we've got it round on this side as well. Do, 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 do. You can't see it yet. There we go. You can just about see that over the thing. I need to do a bit of terraforming to kind of make it look a bit nicer, really, uh, around the top there. Because it is pretty rough and ready. Uh, when I've done it, but I haven't been working on this too long, so, you know, the time is young. Now, we could fly up there, or we could end the port... End the pearl? Ender pearl! Ender pearl like a baller, so let's see if we can get that shot. Yes, yes, yes! No, not even close. Alright, let's get up here. Boop. Are we on top of the sign? Yes, we are. <laughs> Oops. Alright, so this is the room that I've been digging out. Basically, uh, I've been kind of just digging out the side of a, uh, of a big hill, and... I always forget how many blocks are actually involved in the making of a hill. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. So I've just been doing cobblestone building. This is kind of a rough layout of sort of what I want. So, like a big sort of semicircle room in here, and then a smaller room in here, and then like a little storage area in here or something like that. Now, this dirt block is technically what is sort of, well, not technically, but it's sort of roughly where the middle of it is. So that might help me a little bit with designing, but I sort of want to keep it a little bit natural looking. I don't want it to be too, like, obvious. And uh, I think that's the outside wall there, so we can't go that way. We can go a little bit this way if we want. We can go a little bit this way if we want. Uh, and then we have this big sort of area here, which we can get rid of if we want to. So, yeah, I don't really know exactly where I want to start with this. Um, see, I've got some pretty cool ideas about it. I do want to shave the top off and make it a volcano at some point, so that's definitely on the plans. But, uh, yeah, definitely the first thing I'm probably going to do is... Uh, I've decided to go with carpet on the floor, uh, which makes sort of doing little details a little bit more tricky, but this is just full of cobblestone, in case you're wondering. Uh, it's just, just some, like kind of similar to what I did at Dan's place uh, for his prank, but maybe just use some different colours. I don't really know, to be honest with you. I think red might be cool. Uh, and then just go with sort of that sort of design and maybe just do one room at a time. So, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to keep really cracking on with this. It's not very exciting. So, uh, yeah, I should I should really get into live streaming. So I could, I could, I could have live streamed all of this. Just to let you know, I do actually have a Twitch account. Uh, unfortunately, someone stole my name. So thanks to you is not me. Uh, my Twitch account is thanks to you here. So uh, that's the official one. I think I have it linked on my YouTube page. But yeah, uh, normal spelling of thanks to you and then H E R E. Oh, not that legendary one again! Go away, Ocean Biome Spawn. It's always here. But yeah, I haven't actually ever used Twitch yet, but I do have a Twitch partnership, would you believe, uh, which I applied for many moons ago. So what the plan is, because uh, it's gone a little bit quiet on the old Twitch front. Uh, well, I was talking about it a while ago, but when I eventually get around to setting up my new office, there's actually some guy coming through to... I think it's actually this week or the start of next week to measure up for some special tables, which will have all of my stuff on them. So he's coming next week. So hopefully sooner than later, we'll actually be live streaming as well, which should be pretty awesome. I always check this this pond uh, if anything legendary-ish spawns. But it seems that it's not. And this has actually happened once before when I was recording. And I think there must be another ocean biome that is preferring, uh, which is probably a good thing. Otherwise, it would be a bit obvious. But yeah, anyway, so... What I'm going to do is I am going to continue on with the struggle of the mountain. I'm going to try and shape it a little bit better, and then I'm going to sort of do a little bit of designing motif and sort of see what you think of it, really. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I'll meet you guys back in a sec. Oh. 
Okay, so uh, yeah, I've just been doing a little bit of grindy, grindy, worky work. So one of the things I really wanted to do in the, the Team Block HQ was um, when we were pranking Dan, uh, I found that there were some really, really cool massive pictures of the three legendary birds. Now, what I thought would be a really nice feature, and it's something that's quite like grind intensive on my part, but it will look really really evil and pretty awesome is you know these orbs here that we can get like we're just about to fill up one of the frozen souls orbs now we did fill up one of the uh the the fire ones and we killed the moltres i think we all know that uh, <laughs> but yeah we could also get the electric one now i thought because uh, currently these birds are not available again depending on what we do with Pixel Core in the future or whatever. Uh, but it would be really, really cool to have these mounted up next to the legendary birds. So what I thought was in this room over here, we'd kind of make a little bit of a gallery feature of it. So this is kind of what I've come up with. This is very, very basic. So I've had to drop the floor one. Um, so I'll have some stairs probably going down to this. I think that'll look quite nice. And then carpet the floor or something like that to make it look cool. Now I was thinking of maybe trying to find a way of blending in the three different colors of carpet which is something that I've not really done. I was thinking about doing that at the house, but I don't know if it's going to look any good or if it's going to look rubbish. Oh, God. Oops. Uh, yes. <laughs> Team Block, it crashes Pixel Core for like the millionth time. I'm the only one that ever crashes the server. I feel terrible. At least maybe... It... Actually, no, that's probably a lie, but I keep crashing the server. Maybe it's just the ultimate power of Team Block, it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so what I was saying just now is I was thinking... Uh, for Zapdos, yellow carpet, for Moltres, red carpet, and then for uh, Articuno, kind of like a light blue carpet, maybe merging into like a Pokeball in the middle or something. That could be really cool. That's sort of what I was thinking. So that's going to take a lot of wool. Now, at the moment, we only really have 15 red wool and uh, quite a bit of yellow wool. So that should probably be enough carpet for the uh, Zapdos. But I'm going to need to get um, some light blue uh, gonna need to get a lot more red as well. So I was thinking maybe that's something that we could try and finish this episode maybe. Uh, of course like with the the sculpting and stuff around the walls I want to do, because uh, I'm, I'm quite into that for some reason. I really like little detail-y things and um, it's nothing like in intensively complicated or anything but I like using half slabs and upside down staircases and stuff to sort of sculpt the, the mouldings of the walls. So I was thinking that might be something we could kind of do and I've left this open at the back because I was thinking that on each corner we could have like a little viewing gallery type thing so maybe a balcony or something uh, in there as you can see the cloud level is perfectly on the ceiling so the cloud level isn't going to bother us when we're in here which is which is deliberate it's a bit of a pain if you've got clouds coming through your building so I think this is as high as we're going to go um, but I think we could also have potentially go down lower. I've got a plan for something in the depths of this hill, which uh, we'll we'll come to that. We'll come to that eventually. Uh, but yeah, I just I love that I love the paintings in this in this uh, in this uh, texture pack, which is called Pokeballers. In case you're ever playing Pixelmon, Pokeballers texture pack is the one I use. Um, but yeah, okay, so I think we could have a little crack at that. Actually, we'll probably uh, let's see how our sheep are doing. Ow! 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 Yes. Now, from what I'm wondering, we might actually need some more bone meal to uh, get the light blue. And the only way to do that is to wait until night time and then go into the desert and try and find some Cubones. So that's potentially probably what we're actually going to do here. Uh, we do have quite a lot of red wool. With all, basically all the sheep around this, this particular area around my house are red. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I, uh, see, I tried to, I tried to be helpful, and I tried to sort of herd the sheep up, but for some reason they just like to. Oh, I forgot to put a fence gate here. Yeah, this is another thing that's really annoying. I forgot to put a fence gate in here, so um, yeah, I really should make a fence gate for that. It would make life so much easier. Um, but yeah, so let's go and shear that fella there. So the only thing we can really do is I, do, I think we've only got one bone, which is. Uh, which is one of those resources that in Pixelmon is a little bit harder to get than you may expect because you do have to go and find those Cubones. So uh, let's go and have a little inventory check here quickly because we could we could kind of do with um, oh for God's sake, Luxio Magnitude, he dead, he a dead. All right, let's go up here. You can kind of see what I roughly tried to do. This is this is the wool that I'm after here, but I want to do like because we've got more space in the other one, so I could do the three different colors with a Pokeball in the middle maybe. Hmm, perhaps. Then again, the red will blend into the top of the Pokeball, unless I do a black outline. Hmm, tricky, tricky, tricky. This is one of these things that could quite easily just not work. Um, so, yeah, actually, you know what we'll do? 
I'm curious to see what how blue the actual normal sheep colour is. Um, so if we dye this guy, yeah, it's quite deep blue, which is not really what I'm after. I'm after sort of a lighter blue, so... Oh, no, not this situation again. Ugh, for God's sake. Need a fence gate. Don't you dare climb out of that. Stay. Yes. All right, so let's see what this looks like. It's it's probably too dark, to be honest, for an Articuno. Yeah, it's it's a little bit dark. Articuno is... Oh, God. Articuno is like a lighter color, so we are going to have to uh, to make some, some light blue dye, um, which is probably what I'm going to go and do now. Um, so let's just double check our bone. I'm pretty sure we've only got one bone, uh, which is a little bit sad. Yeah, one bone there. Um, it's been some of this cobblestone. Uh, let's get rid of some of that. We'll keep a stack because I am filling in the walls and I need to sort out the walls as well, to be honest. There's something, there's a few like little bits and pieces in the walls that just look a little bit rubbish at the moment because they're all different sort of textures. So, uh, yeah, we only have one. We've got loads of lapis though. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I am going to go and farm some bones, basically, to make some bone meal, and then we can make more light blue dye, and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So I'll have a crack at this uh, to see what it looks like. If it looks rubbish, then I'll just replace it with another sort of random colour, but if it looks good, then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you, so yeah. Okay, so yeah, I decided to just go with the Pokeball in the middle there. So I've just done like a really simple pixel art Pokemon type thing. Uh, and I, I tried out this yellow carpet, but I really don't like it that much. I don't know, it's just a little bit too bright in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to take up that carpet now and sort of get rid of it and sort of, you know, so I can keep it... Do you cut faster with your hand or just by punching it? That's the same. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. I was sort of thinking I might actually go for wooden floors um, and then have, like, carpets in the middle of them, maybe, because I, I quite like the dark wood of the carpets anyway, and I think that it might just make it look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to get rid of this carpet, but I'm going to keep the Pokeball in the middle. Um, so, yeah, this took me, like, 20 minutes to figure out because I kept getting it wrong. Um, but, yeah, I think the key is... See, a lot of this new build is going to involve around wool because it's it's a really, really nice texture in this pack and I think that it works awesome with the different walls and the structures and that kind of thing. So uh, we're probably going to go with wood for the floors, to be honest, because I'm not a massive fan of the... Um the yellow wool. See, it even already looks better with just the stone, but I don't want to have stone. I want to have maybe a dark wood floor, so I'm going to give that a go, and yeah, hopefully that might look okay. So uh, let's. I guess there's only one way to find out, really. We're going to have to head back down the mountain. Uh, I might actually start a little tree farm up, to be honest. Or I could just use that one. That's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get to crack a lack in with that, and I'll meet you guys back in a sec. Oh, I just sneezed and it hurts. Ow. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought I'd just do this quickly to get this finished off. I think I've decided to go with... Oh, God, my chest. Oh, does anyone else find sneezing really painful? Or maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Um, but yeah, I'm not... Oh, God. Oh, the older you get, the more painful sneezing gets. Man. It's one of life's things that creeps up on you. Yeah. It hurts when you get out of bed. It hurts when you sneeze. Um, so yeah, I decided to go with jungle wood because I actually really, really like the way it looks. It kind of looks like that sort of boardroom chic. And also, what's more devious than Team Block? It's slowly depleting the rainforest. I mean, come on, that's perfect, isn't it? So let's just check this out and see what this looks like. Um, I kind of like it because the, the wood grain effect, at least on this texture anyway, makes it look like big long boards. So it's kind of like a, a, a boarded style place. So I really actually like that a lot. And of course we do have plenty of jungle to cut down, so that's always very useful. There we go. So let's just finish this off. I won't go to the end just yet. I want to see what this looks like. And I don't really know what I'm going to be doing just yet, so keep your head down, keep your head down, keep your head down, keep your head down. And the big reveal, one, two, three, boom! What do you think of that? I, I quite like that in a way. I think that looks pretty cool. You know, I, I'd quite like to incorporate maybe all of the flooring like this and have these overlays in the carpet. Because I, I don't know, I, I quite like that in a weird way. Mm, yeah, I think so. So, uh, yeah, what I need to decide now is how we're going to get down here. So if we if we actually make some, uh, some steps. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. There we go. So if we make some steps, what? Have I made 16? That's probably not enough, is it? Let's just do it this way. You can never have too many steps. So we'll do it like that. We'll do it like that. We'll do it like that. Uh, that'll do... Uh, oh, God. 
if I run out of space, yeah, I have. Okay, so let's stick some of our unwanted things in here for now. Just some leftovers. Uh, oh, I actually killed whilst I was getting some bone meal, which is completely pointless now because I'm not going to be using it. But I managed to kill a green uh, diglet. A green diglet. And that gave me... What did it give me again? It gave me a another electrolyzer, which is pretty sweet. Um, because we only had one of those. So that is for the... Um, oh, what's it called? thingamajig the uh electabuzz yeah the electabuzz so we should do that at some point uh, let's just make some half slabs here get these on the corners boop and boop and uh, yeah i actually i actually quite like that you know if we actually hang on what we can do just a little finishing touch here we can take this corner block out and we can put a full block in uh, a little full block like that, and then that should look pretty cool. I, I, I don't know. Oh, now I'm starting to change my mind. I don't know if I like this or not now. See, the other texture, just in case you're wondering, it looks like... Uh, so I've got a load of oak as well. See, this is the one we've used in our house, and this is like a... This is kind of like a, a boardy type thing, whereas this one is kind of like little bricks like that. So... Uh, I don't know, I quite like this. The more you look at it, the more it sort of grows on you. It does look quite chic, but I'm not too sure if I like this or not. I don't know, I guess, I don't know. Let me know which one you think, actually. Um, let me know which one you think looks better. So, what I'm gonna do now is actually, it's it's two of the AM, so I should probably go to sleep. Uh, or at least watch a movie before I go to sleep or something like that. Um, so what I'll do for next episode is I'll just do a, a continue really with trying to, trying to get some bits and pieces together. So this is kind of like a gallery type thing. Um, and I'd like to have lots more pictures displayed. Uh, we're going to have a storage room up here as well because we're starting to, to grow out of our treehouse in terms of storage. We've got a lot of stuff and uh, yeah, just some other little bits and pieces really in here that could look pretty cool. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this wood on the floor. I, I'm not 100% convinced yet, but it could grow on me with time. I'm not too sure if it's a little bit busy looking, especially with the big pokeball in the middle. Um, but yeah, okay, so this is the first room that we're going to be doing in our Team Block HQ. It is the legendary room, and uh, yeah, it should be pretty sweet. So, yeah, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button uh, to support the series, uh, if you could do that, that would be awesome. Thank you very, very much for all your continued support. And also, if you're not yet subscribed, go for it. We do Minecraft on fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Right, see ya!